This is Michael Coulson, your Labour Party candidate in Streetly for the local elections in two days' time. This is the final video I'm going to produce before you go to the polls on Thursday. And I just wanted to um, say how much I've enjoyed the campaign um, after all we've been through with the pandemic and in lockdown. It's been so good to get out on the streets of Streetly and, um, and meet a lot of you. Um, talk to you about what your what you want from your local councillor um, and I've just thoroughly enjoyed the campaign. I'm very grateful to the Labour members in Streetly. We've got 55 Labour members in Streetly. They have given me the most amazing support and in the last week we estimate that we've delivered over 4,000 leaflets in Streetly which is a phenomenal achievement when you consider these are all volunteers no one, I, didn't, I haven't paid anybody to deliver my leaflets. It's all been down to volunteers. So it shows that there is a lot of enthusiasm for Labour in Streetly. I know what previous elections in Streetly have produced, um, but what we are offering in this election is something different. I also strongly question whether today's Conservative Party deserves your loyalty. If you've been a Conservative voter in Streetly all your life, is this really the same Conservative Party you voted for in previous years? It is a Conservative Party uh, with no John Major, no Michael Heseltine, no Kenneth Clark, and even Philip Hammond is too left-wing for the current Conservative Party. And I also question, have they done enough in this election in Streetly? They have a Facebook page, the Streetly Conservatives have a Facebook page, and yet their current candidate still not written anything on that Facebook page. He's delivered a few leaflets, yes, but in those leaflets we've had vague promises. He talks about protecting the Green Belt, but it's the Conservative Party that introduced in the autumn a huge new planning law that will override many of those local concerns. He talks about dealing with crime, but the Conservatives have been in power for over a decade at Westminster. They've been in power at Warsaw Council for most of the last 20 years. They've had long enough to deal with these issues. What do we think about those issues in 2021? Have the Conservatives done enough to earn your vote? The other people I'm very grateful for are the Council staff, who Warsaw Council staff, who run these elections. These elections don't just happen by accident. There's a lot of work that goes into them. I'm really looking forward to being at the Civic Centre on Friday to see the count of the votes. Well, the electoral staff work very, very hard to produce these elections. I'm really grateful to live in a country like Britain where we can have elections, we can debate and disagree, and eventually you get to decide in a secret ballot who you're going to vote for. That's a really special right that was fought for by our ancestors in the 19th century. And that's something... Call me an idealist if you want, but that's something that I still treasure in 2021. So I've presented a positive, enthusiastic campaign. My priorities are improved mental and physical health, uh, dealing with difficult parking problems in Streetly, uh, having, once again, resuming the fight against litter, uh, doing our best to change the culture of litter dropping that has grown substantially over the last decade. And I very rarely hear senior Conservative politicians talk about. I also will fight any further closures of key council services. We've had far too much under the Conservatives in the last decade. I finally want to say that elections are challenging. It's not always easy to debate and disagree. It's a competition for your vote. And I've fought hard for your vote over the last few weeks. But come Friday, the election will be over. The winner will be decided. Whoever comes out, I really hope you vote for me. But whoever comes out as the winner in Streetly, they will have my support to continue making Streetly a great place. So... That's my final, final, final video. I really appreciate those of you who follow my campaign on the Streetly Labour Party page. Follow me on Twitter. If you'd have said I would do YouTube videos at the start of this campaign, 
I would have just laughed. Uh, but because of the pandemic, I've not been able to knock on doors in the way I'd hoped to do, meet as many of you as I'd have liked to have done. And unfortunately, this has been one of the few mediums I've been able to communicate our really positive message. So that's what I've done. And I've really enjoyed the feedback from those videos. So on Thursday, all our work will be done. We have done our very best to persuade you to vote for me, Michael Coulson. On Thursday, the power will be yours. You will decide. So my final point is, let's make this, and I've said it a few times, let's make this a really competitive election. Vote for Michael Coulson and send a signal to the Conservatives in Streetly, Warsaw and in Westminster that they need to do an awful lot better than they're doing at the moment. And also give me a chance to provide the energy and enthusiasm I know I can bring to Streetly. Thanks for watching and I will probably do another video once we've got the results in um, to thank those of you who voted for me and, and give you my perspective on where we go for the future. Enjoy the rest of your day.